Hi, my name is Brittany Palmer and I'm the Land Stewardship Program Manager for the North Missoula Community Development Corporation. Before I dive in, I want to take a minute to thank all of you in the Women's Giving Circle um, for supporting Missoula nonprofits and for dedicating this grant cycle to the housing crisis. We care a lot about housing too at the NMCDC and so we really just thank you for your leadership on this important issue. North Missoula Community Development Corporation or NMCDC is an advocacy organization and community land trust. And we work to build healthy neighborhoods and communities of opportunity in which everyday people of all ages, abilities, and means can live, work, and play. We accomplish this in three areas of our work. So first, we advocate to address structural inequities and meet community needs. Second, we support neighbors in building the community they want to live in through community organizing. And third, we develop permanently affordable home ownership opportunities for everyday people through our community land trust program, which we call our land stewardship program. And I'm excited to talk more about that today. So community land trusts or CLTs create home ownership opportunities for people who otherwise wouldn't be able to purchase their own home. CLTs create permanent affordability by separating the land from the home, investing a subsidy, and then enforcing a resale restriction. And this model really ensures that the initial subsidy is never lost and that the home remains affordable forever. So when a CLT homeowner is ready to move on to a market rate home, um, they leave with their earned equity and a limited amount of their unearned equity, which is an opportunity that's not available to renters. And many of our current homeowners are women head of households and first time home buyers. And though we have 54 homes in our program currently, these homes have already served over 100 households and will continue to serve um, generations more. And central to the CLT model is really this idea of permanent affordability. And while the price of market rate homes continues to rise at unprecedented rates, land trust homes have remained affordable in perpetuity due to the, restrail, um, the restricted resale price that's allowed through each homeowner's ground lease. We are in a position of growth at the NMCDC. Um, we're in the process of expanding our CLT service area to meet the housing needs of a wider range of Missoula neighborhoods. And with really exciting development opportunities on the horizon, we know we need to increase our capacity to track data and to provide stewardship. So in the face of this housing crisis, we've been really humbled and amazed by community-minded developers um, reaching out to us, wanting to help address the housing crisis by creating CLT homes within their new developments. And we've recently spoken with Blue Line Development about a potential project that would include many CLT homes We've also spoken recently with Rivara Development and with them hope to bring 70 community land trust homes to the north side in the next few years. And this would more than double our current program offerings. So we're seeking funding for our community land trust program specifically to support the purchase of Homekeeper software. And this will um, be essential to long-term tracking of who buys these homes, how households transition at resale, how many households benefit over time, what equity they build, and the overall impacts of CLT programming here in Missoula. Expected outcomes of integrating Homekeeper into our program management include increased efficiency in stewarding our CLT properties and relationships with homeowners, the ability to log homeowner support activities, we'll have increased and diversified data tracking on who applies to the program and who purchases CLT homes, and this is all information that we can provide to the city of Missoula, to future grant makers, and to our wider community of folks who might be interested in the housing crisis. And this added capacity um, will really help us to expand our CLT program sustainably and thus serve more um, of Missoula's families. In terms of timeline for this project, we've already participated in a screening call with the Homekeeper team. And if selected for the grant, we'll go ahead and purchase it for the next few years and immediately begin putting it to work. And like many of you, we believe that housing is a human right and that homeownership should be an available opportunity for everyone, including Missoula's workforce. Our current CLT homeowners in the program include nonprofit workers, small business owners, university and city employees, grocery store and brewery workers, and perhaps most critically at this time, folks working in our healthcare and in our schools. Um, so we really value these people and want to help keep them in our community by increasing our capacity and the amount of homes in our CLT portfolio. So with that, um, on behalf of all of us at the NMCDC, including the one third of our board of directors who are CLT homeowners, we wanna thank you for selecting us as a finalist for this grant and thanks for listening. We really appreciate your generosity and support. Take care.